the Kilo Echo 8 Lima Zulu Mike. The name is J. Juliet Alpha Yankee out of Ohio. Roger, J. And uh, you're, whereabouts are you in Ohio? I am in Toledo, Ohio. Ah, Roger. Well, you're making a trip uh, to my uh, 990. I'm running uh, two uh, co-phased 10-foot uh, uh, magnetic loop antennas, and you're doing me about a 10 over, Roger. No copy on the 10 over. I've got you five. You sound really good here. I'm not going to keep you long. I just, uh, I've got a Yazoo STBX 1200. I actually just put a B104 on it, ALC, peaking just about where it should be. I just wonder how the audio is to you. Well, it's, uh, it's got a lot of top end. It doesn't have much uh, bottom end. Come back and tell me about your antenna system, and uh, let me uh, hear it. Copy. I'm running just barefoot, just 100 watts. I am running just a simple end-fed half-wave, apex about 35 foot up, inverted V. Oh, roger that. Now you are going to be running that microphone, Roger? I do happen to have this one hooked up right now, and I thought I'd just check to see how it sounded. Roger, what radio are you running? The FTDX 1200 gauges. Okay, that mic is uh, fairly uh, upper mids only. There's almost no uh, bottom end to it. Um, uh, if you uh, are in the neighborhood of your EQ, and if you're going to run that mic, I would suggest going to your your base EQ and cranking in uh, uh, quite a bit uh, to try to broaden the uh, uh, the balance out a little bit, Roger. Well, I, I'll be honest, I have kind of a, a higher pitch voice to begin with, so this may not be the best mic to uh, for me to even use. Uh, I can't uh, tell you about that. I, I'm just looking at your audio on a spectrum analyzer, and it's mostly, uh, you know, 1KC, 2KC, uh, and not much down, you know, nothing at, at 100 cycles, n nothing on the bottom end at all. So where would I bring that up on the, uh, on the parametric EQ um, equalizer? <laughs> uh, sir, I... I uh, Parametrics uh, on any day are slippery <laughs> and uh, very difficult to deal with, particularly on the radio. Uh, I, uh, uh, what's your uh, bottom end base frequency set at this time, and, and what's the width of the uh, of the parametric uh, setting? Well, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not exactly sure. I know I'm in uh, the equalizer frequency one, you know, 100 is worth that right now. Yeah. Uh, just out of curiosity, how far away is that hand mic? <laughs> Sitting right next to me. Why don't you d uh, do us a favor and we'll have an experiment. Uh, yeah, disconnect the, uh, <laughs> the D104 and uh, plug in the hand mic and let me hear you. I, I can do it that fast. Is that you? Copy. Yeah, I just simply switched over to the uh, to the hand mic. All right. Uh, tell me about your radio just for a minute. Uh, about uh, twenty seconds, ten ten seconds. Uh, tell me about your radio. Copy that. Okay. Again, F uh, the Yazu F two DX twelve hundred. Love the radio. Got it second hand. Uh, I can't be happier with it. Um, kind of new to this. So it's all, uh, it's all new. So that should be about for 10 seconds, and we'll see what I sound like. All right. Um, I think uh, you got a better chance <laughs> with that mic <laughs> than that D104. Now, let me ask you a question. Is that a power D104? Yeah, yeah, it is. the. Uh, it's a Silver Eagle. Right. It's got a preamp built in, Roger. Correct. Okay, well, that, that shouldn't be too bad. I mean, uh, the, the most errors that folks make with a D104 is uh, trying to wire the element uh, directly into their radio. If, the, if it doesn't have a preamp, uh, trying to wire that, uh, the uh, D104 element directly into the radio. And that just, it just absolutely sounds like sheet 10 because the uh, impedance of uh, that D104 cartridge is uh, tremendously high. 
and uh, your radio input is around 600 ohms. So because of that mismatch and impedance, uh, that microphone usually sounds like uh, sheet tin. Uh, but it's not so bad if you have the preamp because the preamp has a FET uh, front end that that cartridge works into the FET and that FET is a very high impedance uh, input so it, it uh, matches the cartridge well and then on the output of the preamp uh, that uh, preamp is uh, probably about 600 ohms or you know in the matches well usually into the uh, into the audio of the uh, mic input but uh, there are a lot of things that is a, a crystal type of uh, uh, element and there's a lot of things that can happen to that element along the uh, 30 year some odd path <laughs> that that microphone has had uh, particularly heat is not uh, uh, a good thing for that uh, that element uh, and just uh, over a period of time uh, the element does uh, uh, tend to uh, uh, you know demise itself so I think you're, you're better off with your hand mic uh, for the moment uh, and until uh, you can probably do something else and uh, if you uh, when you get to your EQ when you find that what I would do would be a punch up uh, a couple of clicks on the top end and uh, maybe uh, one click or two on the bottom end of that hand mic and I think you would be uh, sounding really really balanced Roger. Oh copy that. Well listen thanks. Again I don't have a uh one way or the other. It's just a microphone. I just want something that's going to sound halfway decent. If the D104 sits on a shelf, it sits on a shelf. Roger. Well, you have a lot more uh, width to your uh, uh, equalization curve with that microphone than you do with the D104. So we'll just, <laughs> we'll just leave it that way until you uh, decide to uh, seek other avenues, you know, and uh, uh, purchase uh, another microphone. Uh, Roger. Copy that. Copy that. Okay, listen, thanks. I don't want to hold you up. It was just, I heard you in there, but I'd jump in there and uh, see what we could do, and uh, I do really appreciate it. Uh, Roger, Roger. And give me your call sign one more time, please. Echo, Echo 8, Lima, Zulu, Mike. Hello. Uh, let's see. So uh, uh, give it to me one more time slowly, phonetically, please. One, two, three, four, five, okay. Five, Kilo, four, five, Echo 8, Lima, Zulu, Mike. And what was the name? name is Jay, Juliet Alpha Yankee. And you're in Toledo, Ohio. I have all that. I just couldn't find it on my doodling. <laughs> Copy that. 73, thanks. Roger, Roger. And I thought I heard my Elmer out there in the miscellaneous level. Hello, Elmer. Is that you out there? Hello, Elmer. Is that you? Uh, Charlie Tango, Charlie, stand by just a minute. I'm, I thought I heard my Elmer out there. He, he, uh, signal strength is somewhere about a quarter of a dB above my noise level, if you know what I mean. So hang on just a moment. Uh, Elmer, are you out there? Do you copy? No, I don't. I don't hear him. Usually, I mean, it is. He has uh, always has strange antennas that I can't copy him uh, 15 miles away. He is in my noise, but yet he'll turn up on an SDR in Chicago somewhere at a 30 over.